Hey guys, it's Dr. Dan again here, back again with the kind of second part of my recent pickups for October, and this part is more covering a lot of the retro stuff. I picked up quite a bit of NES games, a lot of shmups actually for the NES, and some other stuff, so what do you say we jump in there? And the first item I actually did unboxing for a while back, and it's a really special item, a really unique item, and I was really happy to get a kind of promo set for this. So once again, I'd like to give a huge thanks to PCD Works, because this turned out to be a really beautiful set. And that's the PC Engine Memories Best of Japan set. This includes kind of four high quality reproductions for some of the more iconic PC Engine games. Just shout out. If you want to see more in depth of the contents and all the games and all that, you can check out my unboxing. But really quick, we'll go through the games included. Okay, and the games we have in the set are as follows We have a set of more for the PC Engine Super CD. Very comparable to something like Valus. I'm actually a huge fan of Valus. It's kind of like a side-scrolling platformer action game. And just looks really, really high quality with some nice cutscenes. This next game I absolutely love the cover art for. It just has a gorgeous cover. But the next game we have here is Sylphia for the PC Engine Super CD. And this is Shoot'em Up. And it's kind of developed by a lot of the iconic people in the shmup department. Looks really high quality. And I just absolutely love that cover art. But that is gorgeous right there. The next game we have here is Kazuya Kiri Ninja Action for the PC Engine Super CD. This is very similar to kind of Shinobi. It's like a kind of side scrolling beat em up, but then has like some Shinobi elements and stuff like that. A little bit slower pace. It looks really interesting though, and it looks like it has some beautiful cutscenes. So there's Kazuya Kiri Ninja Action. And the final game in the set is Renny Blaster for PC Engine Super CD. Again, with some very gorgeous cover art there. Very reminiscent of like Castlevania or something. And this is actually kind of like a side scrolling beat em up, and kind of comparable to Castlevania actually. It's kind of got that overtone going on, and it's got some like tricky platforming, but it's more of a like side scrolling beat em up. You just punch dudes and stuff like that. It looks really fun. And it actually has some really gorgeous like cutscenes too. So there's Renny Blaster. And really quick before we jump to the NES pickups, I do have one quick GBA pickup to share with you guys. It's based off of anime slash manga, but it's an interesting little fighting game. And that's Rave Master Special Attack Force by Konami. And it is a fighting game. Maybe it's very similar to something like Smash Brothers. You have various characters to choose from. There's like items. You have a, you can have up to like four characters brawl it out different traditional fighting game modes and all that and you can have like team battles and stuff like that the interesting thing, thing that kind of separates this game is it's kind of a mechanic where you have like a shared health bar there, there is no like percentages or like health bars it's just one health bar for everyone and it's kind of like almost a tug of war thing where like as you do attacks like it'll fill up the health bar with your color and your goal is to like dominate basically the fight to fill it up to fill up the health bar with your own color and then you win so that's kind of a really interesting mechanic. I check out gameplay just to kind of see what I mean, but interesting little game here. And finally, we had the NES pickups, and I picked up a good chunk of NES games for really cheap, you know, really great prices for all of them, a couple of bucks a piece. But man, like, I don't know, like, people say that it's kind of getting expensive to collect for the NES, and like, really, it's not. It, only if you want, like, a complete collection, which, you know, I don't. I just want to own games that, like, I genuinely want and genuinely want to play. And for the most part, like, if you buy an NES, you can get, like, I'd say at least a good library of, like, 100, 200 games even without breaking the bank, without ever spending more than, like, 10 bucks. And there's a lot of great games for, like, 5 bucks and under, just a lot of great stuff. So it's actually a really affordable system to collect for, and I definitely recommend it for fans of, like, shmups, because there's some really great shmups on there that are, like, really cheap, which is why I picked up actually a bunch of shmups in here. So what do you say we delve into it? Before we get into shmups, these two aren't really shmups. But the first one we have here is Legacy of the Wizard, which is one of those games that people love to hate on, but I don't know, it looks interesting to me and that's really cheap, so we gotta pick that up. And the other one is a great little Capcom game, and that's Commando, which is like a top-down kind of running gun shooter, and it's just a really fun looking game. The rest of the NES games we have here are actually all shmups, so I thought it'd be great to kind of beef up that shmup library, especially since a lot of the shmups on the NES are actually really, really decent and really affordable. First shmup we have here is Section Z by Capcom, and this is a kind of interesting game. It, it's like a horizontal scrolling shoot 'em up, and you're kind of like in this robot. But the interesting thing about it is it's kind of like an adventure game in a way. Like at the end of each stage, you have to select between like 
as you're going up or going down and you select your path kind of throughout the stages and that's kind of the game's downfall too is like it comes down to like memorizing the layout because if you pick if you pick like the wrong choice of path it'll like send you back to the beginning and basically loop you around again so it's kind of that memorization thing where you got to memorize like okay i gotta go up here and then down here and then up and then up and just memorizing that pattern to kind of progress through the game but a really quality game though the shmup mechanics work really well and next two games we have here by taxon but the first one here is a really iconic shmup series that's continued really strong throughout the ages and that's star soldier for the nes and this is a kind of traditional vertical scrolling shmup very basic a lot of the graphics are very basic but just a really quality game and this is really cool to see how the star soldiers series kind of started out back then so and the other taxing game we have unfortunately i couldn't get this one to work i kept trying and trying but I just could not get it to work and that's boo ride fighter and this one kind of makes me sad that i couldn't get it to work because it looked really cool because you could like shoot not only forward but like up and down and it looked really really interesting and it's unfortunate I couldn't get to work but I really need to kind of go through and clean all these games really good but hopefully I can get this to work so I can actually check it out but that's Blue Ride Fighter. Next is a game from one of my favorite companies back then and that's Hudson Saw and we have here The Adventures of Dino Ricky and this is a really cute shmup like it's a it's top down it's vertical scrolling but what's interesting about it is it's kind of got like this prehistoric feel but the interesting thing is it's half shmup and actually half platformer so it's actually like you're shooting and all that but then you actually have to do some platforming at the same time or there's certain points where like the enemies will stop coming in and then you have to do like a platforming segment and that's really interesting it was, so it's got like some top-down platforming mix with like shmup you got power-ups to collect and the platforming gets really really hard really quick but really enjoyable game and i'm just a sucker for hudson stuff the next game we have here is a very traditional but very enjoyable vertical scrolling shooter and that's Sky Shark. This is very traditional in the sense that not only do you have a shot to use but you also have bombs that you can use. Traditional is broken up into like stages and then you fight like a boss at the end of each stage. The stages are relatively short. It's kind of hard to see the bullets in the game. The bullets are like these kind of white kind of flickering bullets and they don't really stand out too well so I died a lot because I didn't see bullets but I don't know that's the kind of one downfall of this game but still very enjoyable but very tough the next is just a classic that i had to pick up just to actually have like the hard copy of this i've always loved it though and that's Xevious by bandai <laughs> just a very classic game i hope a lot of people know what Xevious is but if you don't it's a very it's a very iconic shmup because it's just one of the earlier shmups and it did it really well too but it's interesting because you have like this traditional shot which like shoots enemies in the air but there's also enemies on the ground and you have like a secondary shot which you can use to shoot enemies on the ground and you kind of alternate between those. Really mixes up the gameplay, makes it more frantic. The visuals are very rudimentary but still it just kind of stands the test of time because of how quality the controls are and just how quality it is to play. So very enjoyable. Xevious is like one of my favorite games so absolutely love Xevious. And next is probably my favorite game out of the bunch that I picked up that I just absolutely adored and absolutely enjoyed. I think it's my favorite shmup so far on the NES, but that is another Bandai shmup, and this has like a beautiful label, like I've never seen an NES label with this mint, like, you know you have a mint NES game when it, like the label still looks really glossy, but that's Dragon Spirit, the new legend, look at that label, the label is just pristine, like if someone just bought this brand new and took it out really quick, that is just a gorgeous label, but I absolutely love this shmup, this is my favorite shmup that I played like on the NES, and it's just really enjoyable, it's really high quality, it's got like this like high fantasy kind of scheme going on, high fantasy overtones, your kind of character is like a dragon, which is really cool, and you just like, there's little design things in here though that are just really, really great, and that's what I love about going through like the NES, is just picking up on little design cues, like not so much reading so much into a game, but just taking them for what they are, and picking up a little interesting design cues that make you say, wow, that was actually really interesting that they did that back then. This has a lot of that though, like the first stage is really cool because throughout the first stage there's like fireballs being shot like throughout the whole stage or like meteors and they don't really have any context until you get to the end of the stage and you fight the boss and realize that it's like this creature that's like been shooting these fireballs at you the whole time. So that's just a nice little design cue. Also another nice little design touch is the fact that when you get a multi-shot in here, 
you get like multiple dragon heads. So like you start off with one shot and it's like one dragon head, but if you have like a triple shot, you have like the character with three dragon heads. So that's just a nice little design element. But it's a really beautiful looking game, really beautiful just environments. It's kind of broken up with these kind of RPG-esque cutscenes in between the stages and just a really beautiful game. Great character designs, just really enjoyable. Controls are great. Similar to Xevious, you also have like a standard shot, but then you have a shot to hit like enemies on the ground. But man, I absolutely love Dragon Spirit, the new legend. It's probably my new favorite NES shmo. And that'll pretty much do it for this kind of final half of recent pickups for October, where I covered some of the more retro stuff I picked up in October. I hope you enjoyed as always. Thank you for watching. Until next time, take it easy guys.